I really enjoy working out in the morning. And for me, it's just one of those things where checking off that win early in the day really makes a lot of sense to me and feels great. But I realize that not everybody is a morning person. So today I'm going to talk about some of the ways that you can incorporate morning workouts, even if you're not the typical morning person. So the first thing that you can do is set a consistent time to wake up every morning. And this includes days that you're not going to be going to the gym or working out. You wanna get on a regular schedule and wake up consistently at the same time each day. This is going to prime your body to be ready for action and you will start to shift to being a little bit more of a morning person, but at least having that energy for those days that you do work out. So you wanna make sure that you set an alarm and you stick to it. When I was at the Power of Success seminar a few years ago, one of the things that really stood out to me was a lesson from John Gray, the author. John Gray essentially said that it had been 15 years since he had hit snooze on his alarm clock because he gets up each morning with so much passion and enthusiasm for what he does that he doesn't need to hit snooze. He's ready to get up and get going. And this left a lasting impression on me because of what John said about getting up each morning with excitement and enthusiasm that you want to start your day, even if it is really early. And I have found this to be the case for myself. When I started to incorporate running earlier in the morning before my workout, it was something that was hard at first to have the energy to get up and get going, but your body does adapt to it. And soon you'll find that you're waking up earlier just because your metabolism kind of gets going and you start to bring up your core temperature a lot earlier than you used to it'll become a lot easier over time. Now, the next tip is something you've probably heard a million times, but it's very true. And that is you wanna set your workout gear out the night before your workout. This is going to help you to skip one of the steps that may make it a little bit trickier to get up in the morning and get going or to have the motivation to get started. You're already one step ahead. It's also going to be a great tip, you know, if you live with other people, you can put it in the washroom so that when you get up to brush your teeth, your clothes are set out and you don't have to disturb others in your house through rummaging through the drawers, trying to find some clothes to wear to go and work out. Next up, you wanna program your coffee maker to get started before you wake up. If there's one thing that's better than a morning workout, it's the smell of fresh coffee in the morning. So if you can do this with your coffee maker, definitely go and set that timer so that it goes off a few minutes before waking up and that'll just get you up and motivated to get going that much more. I also suggest that you keep your morning routine realistic. So, you know, you don't want to be having to travel across town to go to the gym. If it doesn't work with your morning schedule, you want to make it as easy as possible. Find gyms that are closer to your house or start doing things at home before committing to going to a gym that may be further away. You want things to be as realistic as possible so that it works with your schedule. You know, if you have to get home to get the kids ready for school or you have to get to work at a certain time, make sure that you are aware of that and you're doing your best to modify your schedule or to work around your schedule with your new workout plan in the morning. You pretty much want to reverse engineer your morning based on the time that you have and build your workout around that rather than getting into something that's too complicated for you to stick to long term. And that leads into the next point, which is to have a backup workout option ready for when you don't have a lot of time in the morning. You know, sometimes life gets in our way despite our best efforts. And this is a really good time to have shorter workouts, have things that are kind of saved in your phone or printed out in your workout journal or just on paper so that you've got something that you can look at and quickly get through, whether it's the 15 minutes or 30 minutes that you have to spare. And that way you won't make the excuse of doing nothing, but you'll have these quick and easy home workouts that you can incorporate if you need to. And these backup workouts can also be great for those days where you just don't feel like you have as much energy to put towards a full workout, but make sure that you are taking note if this starts to become the norm. You may have to adjust your regular workout plan accordingly if it's causing you to start to 
feel really run down or worn out. Maybe you're training a little bit too hard and you need to find a little more balance with the recovery in your routine. Now the next idea is to listen to music even while you're getting ready to go to the gym. This is something I talked about in the video on peak performance music where you want to have a playlist or a few songs that trigger you for a higher state of performance. And it's great to put together a morning workout playlist or a motivation mix for yourself so that you have those songs and it's something that gets your body moving and a little bit more warmed up before you start to head to the gym and it'll allow you to get fired up so that you can perform your best with your workouts. Another thing to note is that this music can be a great alternative to your morning caffeine fix if you're trying to either cut down on coffee or you don't necessarily drink coffee or you like to avoid caffeine first thing in the morning. Using music to fire up your nervous system can be a better alternative when you're trying to do that. Something that I've found really helpful for myself too is to make sure you put your phone down or put it on do not disturb. The last thing that you want is somebody else interrupting your morning workout routine, especially if you're taking it serious and you're trying to make the change and trying to do this on a consistent basis. If you've got a lot of notifications going off or distracting you, it's going to make it that much harder to focus and get through your workout and it may even pull you right out of it. So set that time aside and really prioritize it as your time rather than somebody else's time that they can interrupt you. Make sure that you stick to this. It could be challenging if you've tried to use music as one of your warm up routines or you like to work out with music. What you'll wanna do is make sure that you've downloaded those playlists for offline playing or you can even set up your watch to sync some of the music that you may want to use for your regular workouts. You could also use a few of the apps like Freedom or Screen Time, which allows you to block access to certain apps. And if it's in the time frame of the morning, you know, have that screen time set up so that it doesn't go off until after your morning workout's done. Have a specific Freedom blocker set up for that particular workout window that's going to keep notifications off for you. Whatever you have to do to make your tech work for you rather than against you is going to really be helpful for your morning workout routine. And then the last tip or the last concept and question that often comes up with morning workout routines is should you eat before you work out? And this is something that's very individual. And I think that it's worthwhile spending a whole other video talking about some of the differences on when you would or wouldn't want to prioritize nutrition before working out. So I'm gonna save that for another video. But very briefly, I'm going to say that it's always worthwhile to trust your gut with this one and do what feels best. If you start to notice that your performance suffers because you're not eating, maybe you need to consider eating beforehand or vice versa, if you perform better on an empty stomach, that's when you'd want to avoid eating before your workouts. So now you've hopefully got a few more tips that can either power you through your workouts in the morning or get you started on a morning workout routine if you haven't already. And also make sure you leave a comment below on any of your favorite tips for morning workouts. I'd love to hear what you have to say. And thank you for watching the video. As always, until next time, dream on and find your flow.